too. My name's Hayden. I'm a landscape and nature photographer based in Essex in the UK. I'm out here at Holland Haven Nature Reserve again today and I've got the Yika Ideal 225 with me. Since the last video that I've done with this camera, I've managed to pick up some film sheaths. These are inserts that go inside the plate holders and instead of using glass plates, I can now use sheet film. So I've picked up some 9x12cm Fomapan 100 and we're going to have a little wander around the nature reserve today and see what I can photograph. I've just finished exposing my first frame here today. There's fantastic leading lines in this one. There's this wooden walkway that runs up along the marshes. And I've not used too many camera movements for this one. This one was at f25, a tenth of a second. And I'm shooting this foma pan at box speed today. This should create quite an interesting photograph. So what I thought we'd do now is take a look at the negative on the light table. And then I'll showcase the edit that I've done just after. This is the first shot that I've just taken and as you can see I'm quite pleased with how this one's came out. There's a nice density to the negative and there's still plenty of detail in the shadow areas on either side of the walkway. There does appear to be a light leak on this left hand side here so I am going to have to take a look at the camera and see if there is a light leak coming from the bellows. I know it's not coming from the plate holder end as it's double lipped so that ensures that there's no light coming in through the back. So let's take a look at the edit that I've done. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think.
position that I've managed to get with this one. There's a fence that's running along the right hand side of the frame and that creates a nice leading line up to this gate that's in the background. The grass is quite windswept and that's blowing up towards the right laying against the fence and it helps create interest in the foreground. This one was at f25, 25th of a second. Okay, so let's take a look at this negative. I'm actually really pleased at how well this one came out. I think composition-wise, it's definitely one of my more stronger images that I've taken in 2024 so far. There's still plenty of detail in these shadow areas in the foreground here, and I love how sharp the fence is as it runs up to the gate in the background, and there's still plenty of detail in the sky as well. There does appear to be that light leak here on the left-hand side, although it's not as prominent as it was in that previous exposure. One thing to note about Fomapan 100 is that the emulsion side does mark quite easily. There's the odd scratch up here and a quite a big one up here, but luckily I can edit that out in post. Let's take a look at the edit and let me know what you think. exposing that third frame there. It's pretty windy at the moment so I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick up my voice. This one was at half a second at f25. There's these two logs that have been here for a long time. I photographed them before. Okay so here's the negative for this one and as you can see off the bat this one is a little bit more dense compared to that previous exposure that we looked at. The other one was probably erring on the side of being a little bit thin, but luckily there was still plenty of detail retained in that one. I'm quite keen on the composition with this one. I like how the puddles filling out this right hand side of the frame, and then the logs fill out the left hand side of the frame. There's still plenty of detail retained in the skyline as well, so I'm pleased at how well that came out. Sharpness is absolutely on point as well. I'm really pleased at how well that Tessar lens is performing on the Eco Ideal. Let's take a look at the edit and as always, let me know what you think in the comments down below. you enjoyed the video uh, we managed to get some quite nice compositions today and I'm looking forward to seeing how they come out I think Fomapan 100s could be a really nice test for this vintage Zeiss Tessar lens that's on this camera I'm looking forward to seeing how well it renders with this black and white film stock don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already it does help out the channel going forward take care and I'll see you in the next one